Welcome back everyone to Send Travel. In this video, we'll be presenting 15 extra places to visit in the Philippines. Be sure to watch the video to the end as you'll be amazed at all of the wonders this beautiful country has in store. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Here you'll find the best travel destinations for your next vacation. Now let's go straight to the video. The Philippines is a beautiful country full of diverse cultures and stunning landscapes. There are so many wonderful places to explore that it can be hard to decide where to go on your vacations in the Philippines. To help make your decision easier, here's a list of 15 more places to visit in the Philippines. From bustling cities to breathtaking islands, this list has something for everyone. Whether you're looking for an adventurous getaway or a relaxing beach vacation, you're sure to find the perfect destination in the Philippines. Without further ado, we'll present the extra 15 places in no particular order so you can get the best out of the Philippines. First up, Boracay. Located in the Visayas region of the country, Boracay is a tropical island paradise with something for everyone. Whether you're looking for adventure or relaxation, Boracay has it all. White sand beaches and crystal clear waters provide a beautiful backdrop for sunbathing and swimming. For the more adventurous traveler, there are scuba diving and snorkeling opportunities, boat rides around the island, and even parasailing. There's no shortage of restaurants, bars, and nightlife as well. With its pristine beaches, exciting activities, and lively nightlife, Boracay is truly an unforgettable destination. Next up, Banaue. Located in the northern part of Luzon Island, this mountain town offers stunning views of the famed Banaue rice terraces which have been carved into the mountainside by the indigenous Ifugao people over 2,000 years ago. The terraces are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and visitors can take in the beauty of the terraces while exploring the nearby villages and sampling local cuisine. The area also provides plenty of opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, bird watching, and river rafting. For those looking to explore the culture and history of the region, there are several museums and cultural sites to visit. Whether you're looking for an action-packed adventure or a more laid-back getaway, Banaue is sure to deliver. Next up, Batanes. It's a group of islands located in the north of Luzon, just south of Taiwan. It's known for its spectacular scenery, lush rolling hills, and untouched coastal towns. The landscape of Batanes is unspoiled and stunning, with many unique rock formations scattered around the islands. It's also home to some of the country's most beautiful beaches, including Kalayan Beach and Velugan Bay. Batanes is also well known for its old Spanish churches and fortresses that date back to the colonial period. It's a great place to explore history and culture while still enjoying the stunning natural beauty of the island. Next up, Aurora. Nestled along the coast of the Philippine Sea, Aurora is one of the places to visit in the Philippines. This province is known for its stunning natural attractions such as Diguizid Beach and Mount Baler, as well as its vibrant culture and friendly locals. Aurora is the perfect destination for anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Visitors can spend their days exploring the lush jungles and pristine beaches, or they can simply relax and enjoy the tranquil environment. Aurora also offers plenty of activities and attractions, such as zip lining, horseback riding, surfing, and snorkeling. There are also many fascinating historical sites and museums to explore, such as the Museo de Baler and Baler Lighthouse. Next we have Clark City. Located in the province of Pampanga, Clark City is one of the best places to visit in the Philippines. This bustling metropolis is a fantastic destination for travelers seeking a mix of nature and urban excitement. For starters, Clark City is a great place for outdoor activities. From its lush parks and gardens to its nearby rivers and mountains, there's something for everyone. Adrenaline junkies can head out to the city's go-kart tracks or take a spin on its zip lines, while nature lovers can explore the trails or take a relaxing boat ride along the rivers. 
Finally, Clark City is home to some of the most vibrant cultures in the Philippines. Here you'll find traditional festivals, cultural celebrations, and many more events throughout the year. Next up, Isabela. Located in the northern part of Luzon, it's known for its rich cultural heritage and diverse landscapes. The province has plenty to offer travelers from white sand beaches to waterfalls, mountain ranges, and even hot springs. There are several national parks and protected areas where visitors can explore, making Isabel an ideal destination for nature lovers. The city of Isabela is also home to numerous museums and historical sites, including the Ramon Heritage Park, which houses some of the oldest structures in the region. For adventure seekers, there are plenty of activities available such as biking, hiking, and kayaking, as well as river cruises along the Magat River. Next we have Subic Bay. Located on the northwestern coast of the Philippines, Subic Bay is a paradise for nature and adventure lovers with its lush rainforest, rugged terrain, and picturesque beachfronts. The bay itself is known for its abundance of marine life, including whales and dolphins. Subic Bay has plenty of activities to offer for visitors. A popular option is to go scuba diving or snorkeling, where you can observe colorful coral formations and an array of tropical fish. You can also explore the jungle by taking a guided tour or going on a hike. Subic Bay also has a range of water sports such as jet skiing, kayaking, sailing, and parasailing. Next up, Casas Filipinas de Acusar. This amazing destination located in the province of Ilocos Norte offers breathtaking views and a unique cultural experience. Built in the year 1887, Casa de Acusar is a Spanish-style mansion with beautiful gardens and courtyards. It also serves as a museum that showcases artifacts from the colonial period. Visitors can explore the different attractions within Casa de Cusar, such as the Museum of Ethnography and Anthropology, an art gallery, a library, and the Estacion. Next up, Gigantes Island. Located in the western part of the Visayas region, this picturesque archipelago boasts stunning beaches, breathtaking views, and a vibrant culture. The beauty of Gigantes Island starts from its natural attractions. Here you can find unspoiled white sand beaches, limestone cliffs, caves, and coral reefs teeming with life. Kayaking, diving, and swimming are popular activities here, with plenty of opportunities to explore and experience the diverse marine life. You can also enjoy fun activities such as snorkeling and fishing. The scenery on Gigantes Island is breathtaking with lush jungles, towering mountains, and crystal clear waters. There are plenty of hikes available if you're looking for a challenge and adventure. Here you can explore hidden waterfalls and secret lagoons, as well as trek up to the summit of Mount Guitinguiti, a dormant volcano. Next we have the Underground River. This majestic 8.2 kilometer long subterranean river Located within Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of nature. The underground river flows through a spectacular limestone cave system and features a beautiful rock formation, stalactites and stalagmites, and diverse wildlife. It's also a great place to go kayaking as the calm waters provide an ideal environment for exploring this natural wonder. Tourists can also take a boat ride upriver to appreciate the beauty of this ancient river system from a different perspective. A visit to the underground river is sure to be a unique and unforgettable experience. Next we have Masbate City. Located on Masbate Island in the Bicol region of the Philippines, this city has so much to offer for travelers of all kinds. The main reason to visit Masbate City is its stunning beaches. You'll find both white sand and black sand beaches to explore and swim in. If you're a nature lover, you'll be sure to enjoy kayaking or snorkeling off the coast of the city, where you can discover beautiful coral reefs and a variety of aquatic life. Next up, 
Lana o Norte. Located in the Mindanao region of the Philippines, Lanao Norte is definitely a must visit in the Philippines. Boasting stunning views of pristine beaches and lush tropical rainforests, it's a paradise for nature lovers and adventurers alike. Visitors can go hiking, camping, and exploring the vast array of wildlife that call this area home. For those looking for an unforgettable experience, Lanao Norte offers a wide variety of water sports, such as sailing, fishing, and kayaking. Next we have Misamis Oriental. This province is located in the northern part of Mindanao and is known for its stunning landscapes and laid-back atmosphere. There are plenty of activities to keep visitors entertained here. Nature lovers can explore the great outdoors on land and sea with mountain biking, kayaking, and island hopping tours. The beaches of Misamis Oriental are some of the most stunning in the country with white sand shores and crystal clear waters. Tourists can go snorkeling or scuba diving to observe the incredible array of marine life found in the area or take a boat ride along the coastline to get a closer look at the scenery. Next up, Zamboanga. Located in the southern part of the country, this beautiful city has a long history dating back to the 10th century. It's a great place to explore and take in the culture and heritage of the region. There are many attractions in Zamboanga, such as Fort Pilar, Plaza Pershing, Mount Bolumbato, and many more. There are also a number of churches and mosques in the area, making it a great place to experience the multi-religious history of the Philippines. Zamboanga is also known for its great food, with a variety of seafood dishes that make the most of local ingredients. With its beaches, mountains, and other attractions, Zamboanga is an excellent place to visit on your Philippine vacation. Lastly, we have Sulu Sea. Located between the Mindanao mainland and the islands of the Sulu archipelago, this sea is a perfect spot for marine activities and exploration. It's home to a wide array of fish species, including tuna, marlin, grouper, and barracuda. Snorkeling and scuba diving are two popular activities in this area, as the waters are crystal clear and teeming with life. You can also explore uninhabited islands, which are untouched by development and offer breathtaking views of the coastline. Aside from these activities, you can also witness the traditional boat building culture of the area's local people. With its stunning landscapes, diverse marine life, and fascinating culture, the Sulu Sea is definitely one of the best places to visit in the Philippines. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next videos of travel ideas and much more. We'll soon be back with more content, so stay tuned and take care.